Now the second way of setting a time lapse is by going to the photo function and selecting timed photo. Click on the button. Now similarly to the video time lapse function to change the settings uh, you can swipe from the bottom middle and the bottom right of the screen. So if you swipe from the bottom middle then essentially you can select the aspect ratio of the image itself. So in this setting you could change it to a 4 by 3 aspect ratio. Now it's different compared to the video settings earlier because it is at a 16 by 9 ratio. So 4 by 3 ratio is a lot more squarer as you can see in the image. So it is quite useful for panning shots. Again at the bottom you could showcase the interval. Now for this setting you can't really set the duration because it will essentially keep running until you stop it manually which to me is not really a problem because I usually just let it run until it kills itself. Okay, so again, you could swipe from the right hand side of the screen and you'll greet it again by the setting menu. Again, you can pick between auto or manual. So again, this mode is also limited to the maximum shutter speed of 1 8th of a second. So if you go into manual, again, you can change your shutter speed. In this shutter speed, I like to use the same settings as the video timeline, so 1.3 seconds. Now the difference is that the minimal interval in this setting is 3 seconds rather than 2 seconds than the earlier uh, settings. Because of the interval at 3 seconds, it's better to shoot it at a longer shutter speed. To maintain that 3 second interval, I'll need to shoot it at maximum shutter speed of 2 seconds, which is enough, especially in low light conditions. Uh, going back to the menu, if you click on the bottom right hand side of the screen, you can select your white balance, your de-warping and your format. So again for your format, this time you don't have the option to change it to video because again you're essentially taking stills. You could toggle between two settings, so JPEG or JPEG and RAW. Now in this setting I like to shoot in RAW because it gives a bit more flexibility when editing later in post. But you could shoot in JPEG if you want to. I think I've covered enough of the uh, time lapse features on the DJI Osmo Action. Now another way of making a time lapse is just by recording video but that's less than ideal because it takes a lot of space so uh, please don't do that. I hope this video helps you a lot so I mean I'll be seeing you in the next video. Thank you.